With 40 years on the rails, Bombardier's R62A have served with distinction. The R62As were a follow-up to the R62 order from 1981, marking the second order of stainless steel cars for the A division. This contract was awarded to Bombardier after Kawasaki declined to produce the additional cars under a separate order. At the time, the R44 and R46 trains were equipped with the WABCO, RT5 electronically and pneumatically controlled braking system, also known as the P-wire system. While this system featured a sophisticated fail-safe design for automatic train operation, it sometimes triggered the emergency brakes unexpectedly, leading to stuck brakes. In contrast, the R62 and 62A cars returned to a traditional setup, using the standard SME brake configuration. Specifically, the R62As were equipped with New York Air Brakes Cobra SME system and Westinghouse CAM control. The first 10 R62As, numbered 1651 to 1660, had their body shells built by Kawasaki Heavy Industries in Japan, and these were shipped to Bombardier for use as prototypes during production. After Kawasaki declined the optional R62A order, both Bud and Bombardier submitted bids, with Bombardier winning the contract due to a more favorable financing plan offered by the Canadian government. A total of 825 cars were built between 1984 and 1987, with the fleet entering service between 1985 and 1988. The R62A, like its Kawasaki counterparts, utilizes an H2C coupler setup. However, they are not electrically compatible due to differences in their pin configurations. The R62A has 39 pins, while the R62 models feature an additional row totaling 52 pins. Mechanical connections and movements between them can be made in emergency situations only. Originally built and shipped as single units, the cars were reconfigured into semi-permanent five-car sets in the late 1990s. This new setup included the removal of the compressors from the second and fourth cars, with air supplied to those cars through a supply air pipe. Several upgrades were also made in the 1990s, such as the addition of a door obstruction sensing system by Vapor in 1993, and speedometers featuring both axle ring and Doppler setups by EDO. The class also received ECAM propulsion from ADTRANS. The R62A class still retains about 50 single cars. Along with their sisters, there are also the last car class not to feature a door enabler system. At 40 years old, this class is scheduled to be replaced by the upcoming R2162 cars. However, as of this summer 2024, no RFP has been publicly issued. The class has earned its spot in the New York City transit system and soon in the halls of history.